September 22nd, a group of around 15 to 20 people walked into Rather Hall Lounge and started hitting people. Two were dismissed from the team last week and eight were suspended. Out of the 10 players punished, six of them were starters. All questions about the investigation have been directed to the Vice President of University Relations, Terry Denbo. But it has been thorough and it's been uh, deep and we've talked to a lot of people, we've talked to witnesses, we've talked to victims and we've talked to others and there is video uh, available for the investigations. SU Police Department is working with the Ingham County Prosecutor on the case and will make a decision on any warrants to be issued. Student Dan Foss looked at the situation from two points of view, one as a student. And as a student there's just that sense of embarrassment that the people who go to the same school as you can act so stupid and do stupid things. And one as a football fan. As, a, as an MSU football fan you look at it and you'd be like, you know, these guys screwed up every chance we had at a bowl win. Um, Denbo wants to make sure people are patient and understand they are trying to do as thorough an investigation as possible to be fair to all parties involved. And I ask people to have confidence in Mark D'Antonio's football program because he's approaching this in an integrity-based way to be sure.